try again. Throw in this time off Lineker. Nickel. And a very good effort there by Jim Beglin, who stayed forward following the corner. Now that's what you call a bird's eye view. Might be some debate about how he actually got there. He'll have a story to tell when he gets home, Jimmy. Now, Sheedy. They're looking for Lineker and Grobelar, unorthodox. How effective is it? It's gone straight to Trevor Stephen. To Gary Stevens now. Sharp! And they thought, they thought that they should have had a penalty. Alan Robinson did not. It, it'll be worth a look at that again, I can tell you. He's blowing his whistle, the ref. I don't know what he doesn't like. It gives us a chance just to have a look at that. Just coming in from the edge of frame there, he seemed very upset about it, Sharp, as if there was no doubt in his mind that he was held. This is Mulby to Dalgleish. Now Reid. Lineker off through the centre again. This is promising. Lineker for Everton. Saved by Grobelar. Lineker. 1 0 to Everton. And who else but Gary Lineker? His 40th goal of the season for Everton. The footballer of the year. Peter Reid's through ball absolutely measured. It puts Lineker clear of Hansen. Grobelar made the first save and Lineker followed up and put Everton into the lead after 28 minutes of the all Merseyside FA Cup final. Johnson might have been just hanging offside on the right hand side of the field and up went the flag. Trevor Steele. Quite a record this lad's got. He joined Everton, Trevor Stephen, in 1983, and in each of his three seasons at Goodison Park, he's finished up playing in the FA Cup final every time. Came from Burnley originally. Reed. Vanden Howe now in attack. Beglin. Liverpool not sure of themselves. And Sheedy. Well, it was uh, <laughs> confusion in front of him, there's no doubt about that. Kevin Sheedy, who we normally see striking the ball so well with his left foot, curled one agonisingly away from... Sheedy, perhaps with the left foot this time. It was. Good save. Lofted back in again by Sheedy. And that's awkward for Grobelar, and it was half cleared by Mark Lawrenson. Derek Mountfield will retrieve. Bracewell. Sharp is still there. And he's still there. And Grobelar seems to be at sixes and sevens with Beglin. As you might gather from that. Is Potential transfer value here. There have been stories in the paper about Barcelona. Forward by Beglin. But I suppose we've got the best person to answer that on our panel. Here's Whelan. Mulby. And here's Rush onside. In Rush. Goal. The referee was knocked over in the excitement, but Ian Rush has equalised for Liverpool. 57 minutes, and Jan Mulvey put a little ball through here. They beat the offside trap. Rush went round Bobby Mims, and it was over the line without Johnson having to follow in.
He took the keeper beautifully and finished with a lot of style. And Hansen uncertain and the header by Sharp and a fine save by Grobola. He got his captain out of jail there. Alan Hansen with a most uncharacteristic error in trying to ward off Lineker. He beat his own goalkeeper and gave Sharp a heading chance. But look at Grobola's athletic recovery. Here's Rush. Dalglish is up, so is Morby here. Dalglish, no Johnston, yes! 2-1 to Liverpool! Craig Johnston! What a turnaround! The 63rd minute, and Morby makes another. Dalglish couldn't get to it, Johnston could. Rush inside to Morby. Took on Gary Stevens, chipped the ball inside. Craig Johnston puts Liverpool in front. Oh, Ronnie Whelan. Rush to his left, nobody else there. Rush. Dalglish. Mulby. And still Jan Mulby. He's through. Oh, good block, Bobby Mims. That must have kept Everton in the final, that say. Just how important it proves, only the next few minutes will tell us. Frustration for Lineker. Rush. Mulby is coming up in support, just behind him. Dalglish is in the centre. It's Mulby's chip. And Dalglish can keep it in. He's got support too. Whelan. Oh, I say, his vision there was lovely. Whelan. And Delgley, and rushes on the far side. Is this three? It is! <laughs> Ian Rush again. And surely now, the double is about to be won. Six minutes from the end. Mims deflated. Liverpool delighted, and Ronnie Whelan involved in the move. There were possibilities either way here. Dalglish was free the other side, but Rush with that unerring finish. Mulby, Dalglish, Mulby play on, and is Rush going to score a hat trick? He's through again. Oh, he was just a bit too casual. That could have been the first FA Cup final hat-trick, I think, since uh, Stan Mortensen in 53. Bracewell has found Lineker offside. Just thinking, as the game has gone on, Ian Rush and Liverpool have become stronger in their running power, and Gary Lineker and Everton really have faded in that striking force up front. Isn't that just Liverpool down the years, though, Jimmy? Stronger in the Championship race, too, on the final straight. And Liverpool Football Club under their player manager, Kenny Dalglish, have become only the third team this century to win the First Division Championship and the FA Cup, the marvellous double in the same season. A wonderful achievement, born out of a superb and so typical second-half recovery by Liverpool today. And what can you say now about this tremendous club? 31 prizes in 23 seasons. But now, following Tottenham in 1961 and Arsenal in 1971, they are the first Northern club to win the double since Preston North End in 1889. And they add another to the long list of monumental achievements. They've had tremendous moments in Europe, they've had success here 
in the League Cup. They've won 16 championships, 8 in 11 years, but never before have they won the League and Cup double, and now the moment is here. What a consolation for Alan Hansen in the week he was left out of the Scotland World Cup party. These cheers, sweet music to his ears, and to those of Liverpudlians everywhere. And the two Scots, Hansen and Dalgleish, who played against each other years ago up north of the border, well, they've had a terrific time since they came south with this club. Hansen, who came just before the cup final in 77, Dalgleish, who came that same summer as a replacement for Kevin Keegan,